Hi, today I'm going to go through in Deber Active the effects, indications, and contraindications of use. So, the Indeba technology it's an electric current that passes at a radio frequency of 448 kilohertz. This um, results in two effects one is subthermal, and this has biostimulation, so effects on the actual cells, and this is unique to Indeba. And then we have a thermal effect. This increases blood supply, which increases oxygen and nutrients to the area, and we can also accelerate metabolic processes. So we have two modes of application. One is the capacitive electrode. This generates heat really superficially because of the coating that provides a resistance on the capacitive head. So superficial treatment, but that um, electric current goes all the way through to wherever we put that neutral electrode with the return plate and the resistive electrode which doesn't have any coating on it's a bare metal um, this allows the electric current to pass directly through the body all the way to the return plate the neutral electrode again but the resistance is provided by the actual tissues inside the body so the bone and the muscles and that provides the um, increase in heat as the energy tries to um, penetrate through so resistance heat effect, which is actually called the dual effect. So there's three different ways of describing this technology in the scientific literature. One is TECA, the other is CRET, and the other is CRMRF. So what effects can we have within Indeba Active? Well, we can have analgesic, um, so pain relief. We can stimulate collagen formation. We have also um, shown research that demonstrates cell regeneration. We can get muscle relaxation, so decrease in muscle spasm, and also improvement of joint mobility. So how do we apply this in different uses? So um, in sport, we can treat strains and tears and sprains, also tendinopathies, and recovery after sport as well. So it helps with sport performance. In terms of the musculoskeletal system, we can treat osteoarthritis, back pain, neck pain, any sort of those chronic joint problems. Again, we can treat in an acute, subacute, or chronic stage of any of the strains and sprains. Tendinopathies, so again, that chronic um, pathology of that tendon not healing properly. Acute. Uh, and chronic and also just general well-being as well so you can have it as a therapeutic massage in pelvic health we can treat chronic pelvic pain the myofascial trigger points that are in the area for the pelvic health that can cause problems and referred pain we can also treat in the postpartum so immediately after delivering a baby and we can also treat um, lots of gynecological disorders such as dysmenorrhea, vaginismus, incontinence, and things like hemorrhoids and fissures as well. So the application of Indeba Active in physioesthetics, um, we talk a lot about the treatment of scars, especially post-operative. Um, things like uh, lymphedema as well, so fluid retention after mastectomies or after trauma. Um, we can also treat skin grafts as well. So once those skin grafts have taken and we can start to use the electrodes directly on or near the skin grafts, we can start to stimulate those um, cell proliferation and the healing effects of Indeba. So we have quite a, a limited number of contraindications. One is pacemaker, obviously pregnancy, any active infections, um, thrombophlebitis and also areas of um, anesthesia we've just got to be really cautious about so you your therapist will always check whether you can feel hot and cold sensation but that's just a cautionary thing you can still have the treatment if you have um, any dampening down of those receptors for more information about Indeba Active you can go to our website at indeboractive.com forward slash en